Well, folks, it looks like winter has finally arrived. I live in Michigan, and uh, you're looking out my shop window to the west, west northwest, and it's about uh, 29, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds out of the northwest at 15 to 20 miles an hour. They are predicting uh, snow accumulation, not massive snow, but some lake effect snow off of uh, the Great Lakes. So this is the first real wintry day that we've had so far this season. This is late November and uh, we're actually I think past due for this kind of weather. So from here on in looks like we're going to be in for Hello oh, folks, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I thought I'd talk through the new video camera I just picked up. It's Panasonic. As you can see here, it's a HCV720. It's a current camera. It's uh, uh, currently in production. I got this actually used for about half price of uh, going out and buying one at pretty much retail. Uh, it looks brand new, literally. It's, there's not a scratch on it. The previous owner indicated that he purchased it for a particular project. He estimated it has about 10 hours on it, and uh, I got it for a very good deal online. Uh, I'll take you through the details of the features uh, here in a moment, and all the uh, accessories came with it. I got a couple of extra things, and it was a, it was a deal too good to pass up. Before I get into the specifics of the camera itself, I uh, just want to comment a bit on how I picked this camera. This wasn't just purchased because I got a good deal on it, but rather I did research. And I'm a bit of a fan of Panasonic products anyway. And uh, I did uh, some reading online, reviews, user and uh, professional reviewers, and this camera consistently came up as one of the uh, current choices in this type, in this type of camera. So it wasn't hamper stance, it was, uh, I was looking for this type of camera. And then when I found it online used for a very good price, uh, and the previous owner uh, virtually guaranteed uh, it was in perfect condition, and it is. There's, there's not a mark on it. So we'll, uh, we'll take you through some of the details on this camera. And uh, from this point forward, I'll be using this camera to record my video. So this, I'm expecting to be the last video. Uh, using my my current camera, which works fine. It doesn't it doesn't have quite the features that I was looking for. So here's the entire package that I got when I, I uh, received the camera from the original owner. Obviously the box, it had the original box, all the original packaging and everything was intact. The basic user's manual, obviously the camera itself. I received actually three batteries with it. An original type, which is currently mounted in the camera. A second uh, these are all Panasonic brand, by the way. A second battery that matches the size of the, of the original, and then a third a high capacity battery, uh, as well as a shoe adapter. I'll come back to that in a moment. The various power cords, there's two actual chargers because he bought the extra battery. So there's, there's two, two uh, chargers here. The uh, power cord for the charger, the uh, USB, uh, connector that goes from the camera to a PC or a computer, etc. So I got I got all those extras with it. The camera comes with uh, the one battery, uh, a charger, uh, and the USB connector cable, and this the shoe adapter. So the extras that the previous owner supplied were the two extra batteries and chargers. Now I'm going to talk about the camera itself a bit and the features. This camera follows pretty much standard modern practices in terms of layout of switches and such. Uh, this button is the record button. Obviously you have a hand strap such as this. On the top you have a snapshot button right here at my thumb at the bottom. That's to take snapshots or photos. This switch here, depending on how it's used, is intended either as a zoom telephoto or if you're in playback mode is really used for uh, volume control of the playback uh, audio. Uh, microphone right here, built-in microphone on the side of course you have the screen 
touch panel screen that opens up like that, and I'll go through that in more, in more detail in a moment. On the bottom, you have a pretty much a conventional layout, the, the uh, adapter for a tripod shoe. This is where the SD card is located right here. In fact, you can see the door was open. One other note about this camera, it doesn't have any built-in memory. You can buy a version of this camera that's an HC V720M, which is a built-in hard drive. This camera doesn't. It records only to an SD card. So I had to run out and pick up some a couple of SD cards. I had my wife pick these up the other day. I think she got them at Target. These happen to be 16 gigabytes. I think she paid around you know, $16 each for them, something like that. So something to note that uh, there is no built-in hard drive on this particular uh, camera. Uh, on the side, this is the, uh, if you want to use a, uh, a power adapter, a 120 volt power adapter, that would be there. This little logo right here uh, is to use the touch feature of modern cell phones. Um, many of the modern cell phones have the touch feature where you can touch them together and they will uh, link up and synchronize. This camera also can do the same thing, as well as it has built in Wi Fi. And the Wi Fi, um, I guess you'd call it a projector broadcaster receiver is behind this plate right here. So I will show you in a moment how the camera can be used with a smartphone and you can actually control this camera from a smartphone and again it's also Wi-Fi enabled which was a feature that I was looking for. The camera wakes up typically when you open up the screen such as I just did here. If you want to do a selfie you can just rotate the screen 180 degrees like that and uh, do a selfie, something I'm not probably inclined to do, but it's available if you need it. Touch screen controls, come back to that in a moment. Here, uh, the, the switch is an internal. You've got your on and off switch that you can totally shut it down. This is the Wi-Fi switch if you want to activate Wi-Fi. AV input jack, I already talked about the shoe adapter release switch, the battery release switch. And then you have a plug-in for a microphone, AV adapter, uh, HDMI, and a um, miniature USB right here above my finger. In terms of the touch screen, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, let me go back to a moment, though, these buttons on, this, on the top here, the IA and the OIS. The OIS is really an anti-jitter feature, and you can turn that on and off. That's to control... Um, jitteriness when you're using the camera and you're holding the camera uh, and it'll actually if you look at here you'll see the switch right above my thumb you can see it go off and back on as I push the switch this feature here the IA is really intended as a it's a smart feature where the camera will attempt to set its own settings and that's controllable from this button here you can toggle it on and off as well as from the touch panel Things like uh, shutter speed, uh, lighting, all the various features of the camera. Uh, this is the automatic control for that, the manual automatic control. You can also do it from the touch screen. To, uh, to use the touch screen, it's just like you would think. Hit menu, and you can see you can go into recording setup. The various features, I've got to set it to defaults right now. I'm not going to go through all of those. You have the current video, uh, the current standard video that I'm recording in, which is 1080 60p, which is a very high resolution. Uh, the camera's default defaults to that, so I just have left it there. I haven't really fiddled with that much. In fact, I haven't fiddled with most of these settings. Battery indicator, you can see I'm getting a little low on juice, and another a number of other icons. So again, if you go back to the menu, I can go to setup. And you can set the timing, the display setting, world clock, etc. If I wanted to take photographs, I would hit the picture icon right there in the upper right. And it gives me some control uh, settings for photos. You can see I've got that smart feature turned on in the upper left where it says IA. I can go in and control again the various features of the of the intelligent auto. You can see that's what that stands for, IA. When you go to the menu, you can you can scroll, you can see here. The various settings, telephoto, 
fact, a lot of these I haven't even used yet because I haven't needed to. So that's really the standard right there as you would typically see it. The audio volume, you can see the little bars on the bottom flickering based on the volume that it, the, the microphone is picking up. So it's a, it's a pretty sweet little camera and it has all the features that I think I would ever need. So next I'm going to show how you can use the smartphone that I have or any smartphone that's enabled appropriately to control the camera. So what you see in front of you now is the Panasonic app for my smartphone. This is an Android phone and I have it activated to control the camera. So what you see on the screen of the, of the phone is actually what the camera sees. And watch me, I have the camera right here. I'm going to pan the camera. Notice the phone is staying still, but I'm going to pan the camera up. And you will see the phone sees what the camera lens sees. And in fact, let's try this. So the phone sees itself. You can control the camera. See so if you can get the reflection. There we go. You can record, you can zoom, you can do pretty much anything you want to control the camera from the phone. That's kind of a handy, I think it's going to be a handy feature to have. Uh, I haven't really used it yet outside of sync the two up and made sure it works. So again, you can see my phone trying to preserve its battery. There we go. I think that's going to have some promise and be uh, an interesting thing to work with. And again, it has a touch feature where you can touch the phone to the side of the camera and they'll, sync, they'll link up and sync also. That's kind of a cool thing to have, I think. So that's the basics of the camera. You can see I put the larger battery in here because the other one was running out of, out of uh, juice, so I popped in the larger spare battery. But that's the basics of it, you can see right there. And uh, I'm quite excited about this. I think this can hold a lot of promise for making videos, taking good quality of videos easier to use than my old camera. So there you have it, folks. A little profile of my Panasonic HCV 720 camcorder. From this point forward, all my videos will be recorded with this uh, camera. So I'm expecting to see better quality. Uh, videos as a result. If you've got any comments, questions, or thoughts, feel free to drop them below this video. Uh, and as usual, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.